my name is uh, Johannes Wendelberg. Um, I'm a geologist working for Total in Paris in the exploration department. And uh, as such, um, we are looking into uh, new opportunities. And one of the new opportunities that we're looking into are gas shales um, all over the world. And um, so since I have been involved in technology throughout my career, in my previous jobs with Shell and with the IFP, um, I'm very interested in the challenges, the technical challenges um, yeah, of gas shales in exploration and production of these resources. What does it take for a company uh, to be successful in exploring for gas shales? Well, first of all, um, uh, we need access to good acreage. That is, um, um, so we can um, actually go ahead and, and uh, explore for them. And that's usually done by uh, getting licenses from governments and governmental organizations in, ver in various countries in the world. The next thing is we need good uh, technology and access to technology, both on the geoscience and um, drilling and fracking uh, technology front. And last uh, but not least, very important, is we need a gas price that makes it economic um, to do this type of development. Okay, so the uh, best example for um, uh, shale gas that is explored and, and produced today is of course the Barnett shale in um, North Texas in the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's a basin that has a, a, a shale rock, the Barnett Shale, that is a, a gas shale with very high gas saturations, and that is being produced since now about 10 years, and, and many thousands of wells have been drilled there, and uh, fracking and, and uh, produ production technology has really been optimized there, and it's a very big business. And uh, just because of this example, now in, in especially in the U.S. and North America and in Canada, gas share, there's a boom, gas sheds have been uh, found and identified um, everywhere. But of course the question is, um, can, will we be able to produce them as we produce them in the Barnett shale? And further ahead, um, all over the world now, people are interested in finding this type of resource in Europe, in China, um, in, in North Africa, uh, in South America. And uh, so the question, the big question is, uh, will we be able to make this um, gas resource uh, the, the, the coming um, big resource that we need um, in, in, in our energy market? Yes, um, as I said, uh, so what will be the uh, foreseeable um, challenges, uh, both technically and environmentally, if we really want to go ahead and, um, and, and drill so many wells and produce them, and, we, and therefore the Barnet Shell is a very good um, analog that we can use to project um, into other areas where we want to produce them. For example, we're looking into gas shell um, opportunities in um, Europe, which is also a very populated area, and we can imagine that um, we will have uh, great environmental challenges there. Well, first of all, it's just the sheer number of wells that needs to be drilled. Hundreds and, and many thousands of wells need to be drilled. And uh, so just having all these um, drilling, pad, um, drilling pads all over the place um, it will be a, a challenge. The other is that um, in order to frack wells, um, in order to get the probability to the point where we can produce the gas, we need a lot of water because that's what we inject. We inject uh, millions of liters and gallons of waters, water into the rock in order to frack it under very high pressures. So we need to find that water and that water needs to come from uh, also the subsurface. So we need to be careful that we don't, um, uh, that we don't uh, use aquifers for that and um, that we have enough water to do that. The other challenge is, of course, because this water goes in the ground, uh, we want to make sure that it's um, safe and environmentally uh, clean, uh, a clean job that we can do and that we have to uh, recycle or reuse that water once uh, we, um, we inject it and bring it back to the surface. Yeah, 
so what is the future of Shagas? Well, the future of Shagas looks uh, actually very, yeah, pretty bright um, because uh, this is such a large resource um, and that we can find or we identify at least all over the world. Of course, uh, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, um, and uh, we now have to start uh, seriously uh, producing um, the, these shea gas resources all over the world and not just in the Barnet. So the big challenge will be um, to have the technologies that are um, uh, efficient, sufficiently efficient and, and sufficiently environmentally compatible so we can um, uh, generalize uh, these gas shea productions. As we can see in the US, um, where we already have a production, we have, we have uh, already um, experiences in terms of the types of environmental challenges that we can expect to have um, in other places in the world.